Yo, what is going on y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video and this one we're going to be going over some common questions that I'm seeing in the Ecomi community and some things that need to be addressed because I know a lot of people are newer to the community so don't really understand the direction of VV, um, where things are going, the vision behind it and the C COO actually spoke on this himself. It's so many new people is growing so fast. People are not really understanding the vision and understanding what's going on right now. And a lot of people are jumping ship. People are coming in and out, things like that, without fully understanding what's going on. So people are jumping in. They're like, oh, my money's not going up. I'm getting out of this. It must be a scam or something. It's like, uh, do you realize you're on... You're, you're invested in Amazon before it becomes Amazon. You're invested in Tesla before they ever release a vehicle. Like, do you, like, people don't realize what it is that's going on right now. So that's what we're going to be going into. Before we jump into it, as always, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you stay updated with everything Ecomi. Um, and yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So um, as you can see from this post, Ecomi was very, very proud of themselves because this was the very first time they had ever sold out um, in February. On February 28th, this was the very first time they had a sellout before. And it was, of course, Powerpuff Girls. So yeah, that was really, really good for them. That's a huge accomplishment. And it shows you how much Vivi has grown because now you, they can barely have a drop up for 20 minutes without it selling out. So, And then they boosted it and I think they still sold out in like two hours. So yeah, that was insane. That that was it's, it's insane that um, they're selling out of everything so fast right now, and this actually holds value because of the licensing. It's it's, it's all valuable. So um, the, there are some comments that I saw that was kind of concerning to me. So we're gonna be checking it out. Um, this guy says, "Great for you guys, but we want to be as good as you. Please burn Omis to compensate our faith in you." So this is just another show of the impatience. It's like. You, this is early on. This is still a beta. Even though we're seeing results right now, they were not planning for us to see results or them to see results at all at this current stage that we're in right now. Things are moving so fast, so so you are seeing a little bit of results and stuff. But this was unexpected. This is not. Th this is a, a and this is an investment that's a two, three, three to five maybe year investment. This is not something that's going to happen overnight where, oh, I invest, okay, like th this is blown up and got me to where it needs to get me to overnight. This is not some get-rich-quick Ponzi scheme or something like that. This is a company working and building things as fast as they can to really drive the price of this where it needs to be. They have the licenses in place. Now they just need the infrastructure capable of supporting licenses like the, the reality is their license game is better than their um, production game because they the licenses, the names is too much bigger than the platform. Now, they're great developers. These features and systems and stuff they have, they're amazing. But it's, that's not scaling at the same way that their licenses did. When it comes down to comparison to the licenses, their app cannot handle all the licenses they have. So they're trying to actually catch up to the amount of licenses they have when it comes down to the development of this app. So that's the stage we're at right now. They, this can, they can't burn and make us tons of money right now because they're still trying to make sure the app will work. Because if they don't make sure the app works, then it's, they're going to start losing customers, losing support and things like that. So now they have this commitment to drop um, consistently on top of trying to make sure people, it don't crash every single time. I've been I've never had a successful VV drop ever. I don't think Vivi has ever had a successful Vivi drop. Like, now that I think about it, it's never that has never happened. So, it's a lot that needs to go on. But um, they said, is the market going to open for all next week? Um, the market is not going to open for all next week or anything like that. The marketplace is open to only 500 people, and it's the 500 most active people who are in um, Vivi who are who are actually going to use the market, who's selling things and buying things back and forth. The most active people. That's what the marketplace is for right now. When they let people in, it's going to be letting people in incrementally. So it's not going to be everyone. It's going to be, okay, we're going to throw another 500 people in there to, to total out to 1,000. Okay, we have 1,000 in. It's working well. Let's let's open it up to another 1,000. So we are a long ways off from it being open up to everyone. So yeah, that's the way that they're planning to do that um, just so they can make sure all the bugs is fixed and things like that. Everything is a process. We're in at the super, super early stages. Um, I understand that people are used to products being like being late and being like the product is old by the time you jump in. But a lot of you all who don't understand this stuff, you're lucky enough to be in while stuff is still broke. 
Cause when stuff ain't still broke no more, yeah, it's it's gone. Like it's gonna it's gonna go out of here. It's going to the moon. But yeah, um, it was another one. It was another one that I saw. This one. Stop using gems. Bring back Ecomi as the currency. Um, if you don't know this, Omi Coin is the currency that's being used inside of um, inside of the marketplace. Is is what's being is what runs VV. The reason that it's called gems is because of the whole vision, and this is what this is what really touches on the vision aspect of understanding Ecomi and what your money is invested in. I think one thing that a lot of investors fail to realize is how insignificant we all are. We are very insignificant to the success of VV. And I know a lot of people hate to feel like that's the case and stuff like that, but I have no problem being ins insignificant. As long as this impact and people who are significant impacts my bank account the way that I want to see it impacted. That's all I care about, to be completely honest. I don't have some ego of wanting to be more important than I am. I know my place. I know my role. And when it comes down to VV and Ecomi, the investors are really the smallest piece of the puzzle. The reason that it's not called Ecomi coins or anything like that or Omi tokens is the simply because this is geared towards children. This is geared this is this is all about the kids. This is about the kids getting the kids attention, then the kids getting their parents attention. And th this that's what this is built for. That's why there's gamification. There wouldn't be gamification for a bunch of grown-ups. For a bunch of serious investors who don't have time to be playing games, they're just going around looking for the next project to invest your money in. That The fact that there is gamification here lets you know that this is not built for investors. And investors are the smallest, smallest piece of this puzzle. Yes, we all stand to make a killing, especially investing on this early on. But this is the, we're, we're not the important factors here. The important factors is that it's simple, easy for kids to understand, easy for kids to use and share with their friends, explain to their friends and stuff like that. And that that's that's the most important thing here because I, I spoke about it a little bit in my last video. The gamification is going to have augmented reality where let's say you take the, the, the DeLorean. Let's say they decide to create a racing game for augmented reality. In this racing game, you could have customizable items and stuff like this. You can get a paint job. You can get new rims put on your car. You can get a DeLorean with a with a new um would would put your logo on the side of it. And if they charge a certain amount of gems for this, which is Omicoin, anytime a new kid comes on here to play their favorite game and to race on VV and stuff like that, using their NFTs and just having fun. Anytime they come and trick out their cars and competing with their friends, the same way that they do in Fortnite, the same way that they do in Call of Duty, except for all this stuff has no value. But if they, if if what they spend their money on becomes VV upgrades to their NFTs and things like that, that is what's going to start burning Omi coins. So like the guys impatient about that, like this is why it's important to understand the vision. I'm excited for it to come, but I also know that um, VV is not in a place for it to come right now. But this is what gets me excited about the future, understanding that, yeah, this is like it's going to burn like crazy. Let's take a thousand kids competing with cars. Be like, yo, have you seen my new car? I have the DeLorean, but it's wrapped. Oh, I have this new GM car. Look at my new GM car, and it's wrapped in, in silver. It's silver and black. Oh, no, mine is gold, and mine is gold and white. That looks way better. And then these kids are just competing um buying up all this um all these in-game or in, in app cosmetics and that that just boosts that that is burning and burning and burning like this is why this is why it's so valuable man um and honestly i think that a lot of people have to realize where we're at in the in the vv life cycle um <clears throat> we're very very early on we're very very early on so yeah, like it, things are gonna burn. Um, the, it's important for these to be called gems and not like basically the investor side of things. We know this is a cryptocurrency. We know it's a cryptocurrency. We're invested in the crypto. We're all of that. This that's not for the consumer to know. The person who this app is targeted at does not know any of this. They don't know about the blockchain. They don't know about any of that. That's not what this app is about. It's not about us. It's about the people who are gonna. Be on here, enjoying this app 24-7. There's something to do at all times. Like right now, they're just getting started. Like one drop a week, that's just getting started. They're going to have pack openings. You're going to be able to literally, there's going to be so much content on here. You're going to be able to just gamble and, and open packs 
like 24 7 like imagine when they have pack openings how big that's going to be it's confirmed pack openings are coming so yeah then then the youtube videos they're going to be new new youtubers to come around like look at pack openings in the fifa community all of those videos have millions of views and and the fifa skins and stuff are kind of useless now um imagine nft pack openings like come on now it's valuable people are opening it and it's real money and stuff that you're capable capable of earning through these pack openings so these pack openings are going to be insane once they release that feature so yeah that's going to be big um but yeah there was one more thing i wanted to touch on here in this video and it's it's some information that they actually dropped so it says, um, before long, you'll be able to chat with other users and trade with them directly so you can complete your set. So basically, VV already has plans to make a um, like some type of messaging system so you can contact people directly and you can set up deals and stuff so you can trade your trade NFTs and stuff or sell directly to someone on the app and things like that, even outside of the marketplace. So they are going to be pushing an environment where you can exchange and stuff with one another. They're going to be pushing a whole community feel within the VV app. It's already being done to an extent, but not how they're planning to do it. So this was that post was posted a couple of months ago, but it still it still stands. This is, this is the stuff that they're working on. This is the vision. So that's what you have to understand. This is why you have to be patient. You have to really have faith in the company and really understand the vision and have faith in the vision because it's not some overnight get rich quick scheme. It's something that if once they take the time to build it out and if they build it out correctly, it's something that will make you a very, very wealthy individual. Um, and yeah, that, that's just that that's just what it is. So yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Um, hopefully this video was informative and helped you out in a bit a bit. But yeah, if it did, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on notifications. And I'm gonna catch you all on the next one. Peace out.